Hello guys, welcome to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for more Civil Engineering updates. So today our topic is about the main difference between the frame structure and the load bearing structure. These are the two type of structure mainly used nowadays uh, in our building construction projects. Uh, but uh, we don't see any main difference between these two. So here I'm going to see uh, I'm going to show you the basic difference between these two type of structure that are constructed daily, right? So first I'm going to uh, uh, explain the load bearing structure and then I will show the frame structure and I will also show the pictures uh, at the end of these topics, right? So the first one is the load bearing structure, alright? Is the load bearing wall structure, load bearing wall structure right so these are the structure we construct uh, uh, we construct in our daily life and these structure here are mainly in villages right and mainly our villages are in cities but uh, they are not more than three or four floors maximum number of floors and these type of structures are three or four but not more than these right why because i will show you now that how the load transfer and load bearing wall structure and why they are not more than three four stories a floor right so i'm drawing it here this uh this is a, a 3d view is a 3d view sorry um right so this is the one wall i draw the wall like right this is the one wall and this is the another wall wall is another wall made of bricks or maybe of stone bricks or concrete bricks so above the wall we place the slab right so we place the slab above the wall this is now the slab we place the slab above the wall and now this slab is now will transfer the load to the uh, beam or maybe directly to the uh, on the wall right on the wall so the slab will transfer the load to the wall and the, this is the wall and the wall will transfer the load to the foundation and the foundation and this type of structure are like missing the wall load bearing wall structure because now the load is going to support the whole load that's why it's called load bearing wall structures and uh, the load uh, and this will be going to the uh, foundation and this foundation uh, is mainly of the rubber masonry right we call is the rubble masonry is a kind of masonry we provide in villages mostly this type of the structures right and mostly we see the three or four uh, floors in this type of structure because they are without the columns and without such type of beam and column structure that's why we call it the load bearing wall structure in which the wall is going to support the whole load like in this case the whole slave load is being supported on the wall and there is no such columns and the wall uh, transfer the load to the foundation and there is a rubber machine not a footing type of a special type of footing but we place the rubber machinery below this so the number of floors may be three to four there should be no uh, floor number of floors more than three or four right because they didn't support the floors more than three or four the whole structure will collapse in this in this type of structure or load bearing wall structure right because the wall is not going to support the uh, number second number third and it will support the number second number third floor but it cannot support the load of a six or eight story building this wall because it will break down it don't have compression strength as compared to the column right so now i'm going to show the uh, column uh, the uh, frame structure right so this was the load bearing wall structure uh, now i'm going to draw and to show the difference the uh, behavior of the frame structure So the second one is the frame structure. So the frame structure is also in uh, cities more. These are not in villages more. In cities uh, and cities uh, and the developed part of the uh, state, we draw these, we construct these type of structures, which are called frame structures. And frame structures don't have such 
uh, the restriction on the number of floors so the number of floors uh, maybe up to uh, not defined not they are not defined any number of floors it may be 100 it may be once uh, 160 it may be 168 like Burj Khalifa it may be 103 uh, so uh, there is no restriction on the number of floors you can increase the height of your structure too much right because it is a frame structure it is more stiffness it is more duct ductile behavior so it can uh, uh, bear the load of this number of floors so it's not like the load bearing structure in which we construct only three to four floors right so now what is the come behind the reason that it can support uh, more floors right so what is the reason I will try to explain the reason this is the frame structure uh, and 3d view I will draw it here like this is the slab slab is then supported by the beam and this is a below beam and then the beams the load is going uh, transferred to the columns these are the columns now right these are the columns uh, this is the slab this is the beam, this is the column, right? And below the column, uh, uh, this is the footing, footing, right? But I, but I show here the first floor and there may be the another floor like this one, right? So there may be the another floor, right? This is another slab and above it, there will be another slab, right? There will be another slab right so this is another slip so first story third story fourth story and then going on and maybe the hundred story and maybe the uh, 150 story so the behavior of this structure is like this that the slab is a slab and the slab load is going to transfer to the beams and the sides and the beam is going to transfer the load to the column and this column load is going going at the end we have foundation footing right so the footing will able to support the whole load of the structure and it can support more load because now there is a frame structure now the load is coming <clears throat> on the columns uh, mainly the columns is going to support that load while the uh, there is we provide the cladding walls we provide also the walls here walls and the uh, floors right what but these walls are not now the load bearing walls these are non load bearing walls non load bearing walls but we call it the uh, cladding wall right because they are not going to support the load of the structure uh, uh, these walls but it only uh, it only prevent the uh, outside atmosphere from the inside these walls are just provided for this behavior and these are non load bearing walls right so in the frame structure we have non load bearing walls uh, while the load bearing wall structure these are the walls which provide the resistance to the load so in this case the load is transferred to the slab slab uh, coming to the beam beam to the column and column to the foundation so the frame the structure can uh, can get the load up to more uh, uh, floors right so uh, also we have a conclusion right like in the load bearing wall structure we have how the load is transferred load bearing wall structure how the load is transfer the load is transfer like that slab slab to the wall the wall and wall to the foundation we provide the rubber machinery right while in case of the uh, frame structure we have the slab load coming on the slab slab transfer the load to the beam beam transfer load to the column and column transfer load to the footing or foundation right and uh, from footing there are different types of footing and as I also discuss the footing uh, videos you can check in the description the video footing and types of footing so there are different types of footing depend on the structure if there is more huge structure so we provide the uh, pile foundation are the rock foundation are the small if there is small load coming on the structure so we provide the simple footing isolated footing or the split footing all right so you know, this was all about the load bearing wall structure and the frame structure this was the main difference that it can only going um, support the load of three to four uh, floors while the frame structure can support the load up to more than 200 floors right depend on the condition depend on various factors 
right so if you have any question please comment and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more civil engineering videos and thank you for watching this video